<laughs> okay, guys. Hey, you see the S10 behind me? You got to see one spring and the second spring. I'm going to see about chopping these down just a little bit and see if we can drop the vehicle. And let's hopefully it works out to where it's a comfortable ride. I've seen you can do it on Chevelle's and other older model Chevys. So let's see if we can do it on this little S10. So here's my coil springs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim them. Do not use a heat torch. Do not heat these springs up. You want to keep them as cool as possible because when you heat them up, that's when you take the suspension travel out of it. And that's where you get a real rough ride. Only thing I'm trying to do is just drop the truck. So, what I've understood what you do is first you got to measure your ride height. And I'm setting at 3 inch drop from the original height. So, I'm going to take roughly one and a half inch out of my spring and that will create a three inch drop for the front so and i'm telling y'all this is the first time i'm attempting this so if it doesn't work looks like i'm buying drop springs anyways so but just for now this is the route that i'm going so I'm at 13 and a half, but if I drop it here, I am, well, there's one and a half inch drop if I go from here to here, it's an inch and a half difference. <clears throat> so do I want to go here? Yeah, if I go right here. All right. Rage on that beat, going crazy.
Okay, so guys, that's gonna do it for this truck. It took about roughly three hours of doing the chop to actually installing the parts and also running around and trying to find all the other tools that I need to do the job. But um, as you can tell, the truck has no hood. There's not any window. There's no interior. There is no, there's a bunch of parts I'm missing on this thing. So that just means the truck's not ready to run. That motor does run. It's just not being able to drive right now, so I still got a lot to go on the truck, but hey, at least she's setting where I want her to be, and I got a flat tire. That's what you get for leaving these tires rot for about six to seven years. So, okay guys, well that's going to be it. If y'all liked the video, hit the thumbs up on it um, in the comments below. Just tell me what y'all liked about the truck. Uh, if it's true, the paint, that I'm leaving it as is, or just it's low. The year model will like tell me what y'all like about it or tell me what y'all don't like about it so and if y'all are new to the channel hey hit that subscribe button um 